boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Kingdom from Home again. We sure miss your smiling faces, but I do hope you're getting to enjoy the sunshine. Today, we will learn about a time Jesus forgave a woman when other people wanted to punish her. Let's read John 8, 3 through 11. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. Wow, way to go, Jesus. He sets the bar high. Everyone wanted to punish the woman in the story, but Jesus forgave her even though she did something wrong. Jesus forgives us too. Take some time to think about a time that it was really hard to forgive someone. I remember a time my sister borrowed my favorite shirt without asking me. When she came home and gave it back to me, it had a huge hole in it and couldn't be repaired. I was so upset. I sure didn't want to forgive her at that moment. Forgiving can be hard. Let's watch a story about a boy who had to decide whether to forgive his younger brother or not. I'm Philip and I'm 13. Hi, I'm Timothy and I'm 9. <laughs> Philip and Timothy love playing outside. <laughs> they like hanging out with their chickens. Oh, and they like playing music together. Three, four. But what Philip and Timothy really love is Legos. My favorite Lego sets would probably be my Striking Venom Lego set, my Aero Force one, my Republic tank, and the walker I built by myself. This is one is Emperor Palpatine's shuttle. This one was a present from Timothy. This one's Lego Space Police. This one Timothy bought me for Christmas. This one is Power Miners. This yeah. is Big Daddy's um, spaceship. This is General Grievous' speeder. This uh, one's also Space Police. This one is Exoforce. I modified it. And these are little punching robots. Go, 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 go! Oh! I think he lost a piece. <laughs> It sure looks like Philip and Timothy have lots of fun with their Legos. But when Philip got his very first Lego set at Christmas, it was anything but fun. So, on Christmas morning, I woke up at 8 in the morning. After we ate, we read the Bible and then we went to open presents. I opened all of my presents and the best one was a little Lego set. It was about this big. After I'd finished it, I started parading it around the house. I'm like, da 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 I went to put it on my shelf where my little brother couldn't get it. And so, while I was away, Timothy was hard at work. I saw my brother's Lego set, and I really wanted to play with it, but he wouldn't let me. So I went into his room and uh, broke it. When I returned, my little brother was sitting there on the ground with an innocent smile on his face. Yeah. And so, my face turned red with rage. And 
did, I almost blew up. I think he went steam engine mode and started going And that was the end of my Lego set. I think it's important to forgive people because carrying a grudge is like carrying an anvil on you. You know, eventually, if you carry it for too long, you're gonna be like, no, 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 and you're gonna fall on your back and it's going to crush you. It's easier to just like let it go, move on, so you're not carrying the anvil and so your spirit isn't tired every day. You know, so you have more um, spiritual capacity. It felt really good that he forgave me for breaking that Lego set. want to forgive people because if you don't forgive them they can move away from you you will have a very bad relationship with them um, and that can end up hurting you I love my brother so I treat him well he's the best thing that ever happened to me Do you think Timothy deserved forgiveness? Philip said, carrying a grudge is like carrying an anvil on you. Eventually, if you carry it for too long, you're going to fall on your back and it's going to crush you. It's easier to just let it go and move on. He also said, you want to forgive people because if you don't forgive them, they can move away from you. You'll have a very bad relationship with them and that can end up hurting you. Take some time right now with your family and tell them about a time you were holding a grudge and it made you feel like it was going to crush you. Also, explain whether or not you agree that not forgiving someone can hurt you. He said it felt really good to be forgiven, but it felt good for Philip too. We can feel good knowing that Jesus forgives us. And we can feel good when we show Jesus' love and forgive other people. Now let's play a game with Regan and Will. All you need is a deck of cards. Place the deck of cards in the middle of the table. Each person playing the game will take a turn drawing one card from the stack. If you draw a heart card, you can get rid of all your cards, including the heart card that you just drew, by placing them face up in a discard pile with the heart card on top. If you don't draw a heart card, you have to keep all your cards, including the card you drew. The goal of the game is to not be holding any cards when the cards in the middle are gone.
you feel when you drew a heart card? How do you feel knowing that Jesus keeps on forgiving us? Whenever the boys drew a heart card, they were able to get rid of all their cards. They put the cards in the discard pile and the heart card covered over all the other cards. In the same way, Jesus forgives us for all the bad things we've done. He is the heart card. And we can be thankful that Jesus keeps forgiving us whenever we ask him to. Let's end our time with singing and worshiping God together. Then take some time with your family to pray. We love you and miss you dearly. Bye.
Let's go.